to send you down for the final game in the Western Conference and for the first day matchup of the NBA playoffs. This time, it's the Dallas Mavericks and the Clippers. Since they've both been playing it since season three, it was a long latest before Santa Beast was being transformed. As you already know this before, we're about to find out if the Mavericks can roll back in. They lost their last postseason because of this. New changer has already been released out, and none of them have got a new appearance. So they missed it, and it was a hard crusher for them. But they're finally back in, and finding it a way to yourself if they can win it again. Now this time, I have an ex-commentary. I have Miss Terry Cruz along with the other commentators. And that will be OJ along with the phone that will be on here for the center of the court. David Aldridge is also here on the sideline. And starting lineup is on right on the board. Luka Doncic, Tyrese, Kyrie Irving, Terry Jones Jr., the PJ Washington, and the center, Daniel Gaffer. On the other side, the beer, James Harden, Terrence Mann, PG-13 of Paul George, the claw of Kawhi Leonard, and Ibiko Zubox. Let's get you down to Crypto Arcom Arena. And if you got some tickets here for the BFDI and MS80 tour, it's still going on now. Here for the next part of the location, after three locations, before the next three locations, right in between the Los Angeles, Chicago, Illinois, and Fort Lauderdale of Florida. So yeah, go ahead and get your stuffs now before we are gone. And that will be uh, after here, but New York and, of course, Seattle and Houston are running fast, so... Yeah, there's not a lot much time right now, but if you're heading to Chicago, I mean, that's great. Or, if you're heading to Los Angeles, I hope you'll be there. So yeah, I'll see you all around on the other side of the West Coast. Now let's get settled. Terry, all you. See you later, folks, for the Post Game Show. As right now, full teams are entering in the locker room. Kyrie Irving and the Kaluka Donkic are up and ready. Ready for the tip-off. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Coverage of the NBA Playoffs. Hi everybody, Terry Cruz, and I'm here with my broadcasting partner, Mephone, and the center of it all calls for, you know the name, OJ. David Aldridge is also here on the sideline. That's right now, the starting matchup is on the board, ready for the statement edition. We've got a great matchup between Paul George and the other team with Kawhi Leonard. Washington and Jones Jr. are in small forward point four position. Vika Zubox, he's on with, on with uh, the number game of Daniel Gepper in the center. Luka Doncic and the crosser here is all you call now as we've got another one coming in between as James Harden. And finally, we have, you know the name, Kyrie Irving on Terrence Mann. Let's get going. The starting groups is follow. Here's Luka Doncic on a perfect drive. He makes that one easy enough. Has his first bucket of the night. You know the appearances. I was really stunned because Luka Doncic has definitely gotten crazy enough to do with all this time. I never see what he does, but that's how uh, Paul gets things so. Oh, ho, ho, ho! I know that the biggest zoom box on that one would slam dunk down. The Mavericks are back in the lane. Here's Washington. Gives a back pass to Doncic. Irving's on the top of the keyframe. Gives it again to Luka Doncic. Doncic gives a pass over to Gafford on the layup. It's good. He makes that first bucket in for Daniel Gafford after Luka with the assist. You know, in easier range, after playing with the Euro League, he just definitely have to want to accomplishment his goals in his career. Sometimes, he doesn't really get over to this one because it's not what happens if he gets this thing down and covered. Sometimes he gets in a hurry with, with no reason there. It's not what he does. Basically, when he gets that thing done, he doesn't want it to go over from the right time and the angle. But that's what he does if he gets it fast. Now it gets for the two. The rebound puts up by Kyrie Irving. Mavericks will have their ball possession and now find Irving. Five on a shot clock. Dunk gets for three. 
It's good. The range outside puts it in for Donkic. He has his first bucket appearances for three, and they have a lead up by three. Here's Harden. Gives the pass to Kawhi Leonard. Up and over. Big shot. Giving it up. A shot. Hit back in. He's good for James Harden. Oh, he's been really going for it. I'm just going to say, I'm going to tip the ball in there, so, yep, I'll do it. And he finally had nailed it. I never see where he goes, but, hey, just don't try to listen to him if he gets that one through. Here's Dom Kicks with the ball, and now finds a swing back over again to Irving. Irving, dumps up for the two, hits off the rim, and it's George with the rebound. You know, sometimes that Kyrie Irving doesn't do really much often, but it's not quite obvious what he does for a reason. It's because of what he, he doesn't do really well enough. He has a hard time shooting it. But don't judge them, because that's not what their purpose is. Here's the pass back to Irving. And now again to Jones Jr. New switch up. Irving for three. Good range outside. It's Jones Jr. will have his six. And Irving with the first three-pointer of the night. You know, the constipation of what happens to Kyrie Irving, he made that one a lot harder down on that scrimmage. After a dunk, no problem, Harden. He made that one and it said, I'm gonna come back at you. You don't try to take over me anyway, but <laughs> no way, sir. I think that would have feel like a hard timing. You get it all from here. Dunkish passes back to Irving. Five on the shot clock, three for Washington. That's off the rim, and it goes back over to Harden. You're not shooting perfectly, and this is not what he's doing, because that one is a hard one to take over, and it's not even a close call because no one has gotten it through. First foul called on Dallas Mavericks, as Luka Doncic just fouled. He has his first. You know, the hard drive has played enough for Kawhi Leonard. He was trying to get the attacking go in, and he tried to maintain it as well. Instantly improvable on their scores. They're trying to make sure if he gets that one eye focused straight. Kyrie Irving really knows that Kawhi Leonard has been playing so much time since his hometown was Los Angeles. And that's what he was thinking of it. All for play once. It's what the team does for me to improve my strength. It's the first free throw. The easier to say for Kawhi Leonard. After playing to becoming pretty MVP since 2019, he definitely have made out accomplishment to go all of his workout routine. He does for a living for her shooting baskets, but sometimes he gets that all straight through. That's accomplishment goals, and its greatness awaits. His second free throw is good for Kawhi Leonard. Teams are tied up with 10, under 4 3 to go in the first period. EJ Washington now finds it again to Dunkich. Dunkich now finds Irving. Irving tried to hold on the man and now goes back again to Washington. Washington tried to like close to bound. Gaffer over Zubox. Step back. That goes in as Gaffer will have his first bucket range around the point mark. You know, that's a hard one I've never seen because of what they do. It doesn't really happen to take all of them from once. Here's another take. Harden on the move. Oh, what a cutting bound! Harden just made that one look easy. James Harden, what do you gotta do? And now he finds Irving. Back again to Dunkage. Now finds Washington. Trying to find a sloppy move on an exception. Give again to Dunkage. Corner three. Off the target. It's not another miss by Dallas. Now here's Harden. Give again to Leonard. Oh, what a one hand dunk down. That was why you should show the crowd to start that power down moment. You know, I never see what goes in. They just really kept on coming. And they don't believe them? You will never say so. First time out call by the Dallas Mavericks. They will have to talk things over with just, with just 321 to go. And if you're looking forward for tomorrow's game, we got another matchup here as we start with the second seed versus the third seventh seed. That's right now the Milwaukee Bucks are still currently in the top of the league in second place. That's right now the Miami Heat are ready to take its rematch on here at Milwaukee. Since last postseason, Milwaukee Bucks has officially gotten really bad over the days 
of each game. Because of this point, Giannis Antetokounmpo has been wrestled down and one of the baddest on the brutal takeover for the Miami Heat. This was the biggest upset since he just left with us with the one versus the eight seed. Hey, listen, man, this is no way. I gotta say that Jimmy Butler and their team, they've really been going right between the setup lane. And, you know, you can't really say that about the big office. They just really wanted to say is, we want to destroy it down. I think the one seed upset's gonna be a hard time for them. Now a new blank group substitution. As right now, a couple players have checked in and a couple players have checked out. Following along with the next game, as we will be sending you over right down to the Western Conference on the other side, as we have the uh, the Timberwolves face against the Warriors, and nope, not excuse me, the Phoenix Suns, and finally we have it here in the number team as we go back to the East Coast as the Celtics take on against the Sixers in Boston, and finally the first first of HC as the Nuggets take on against the Warriors. Hey, let's face it again. That's going to be tomorrow day, every day in between. That will be all here, only on Set of Beats. For games one and two will be the next one. Here's Tucker, it's denied by Kleba. Exum's got the ball, now he finds the down pitch. First block of the game goes to Maxi Kleba in the first playoff game. Hey, that's not what everyone does. I say that Maxi Kleba just made that one a lot harder, but no struggle here. They can't let that one fool you. And now here's Russell Westbrook with a new line group substitution. DJ Tucker with him, and again with Mason Plumley, and Norman Powell. And finally, we have it in the cross here as Hardaway Jr., Levi at second, and finally on the, in the corner is Exit. Only two minutes remaining right now as Hardaway Jr. is on the outside. He takes up with the layup. Oh, what a great finish drive here for Tim Hardaway Jr. That's his first bucket of the night. You know, I'd say that Tim Hardaway Jr. does roll out. But let's say this. If you play for Tim Hardaway Jr., you know you've got a great covering drive. I know he's doing really well. And a shot goes in for Norman Powell. That'll be his first bucket here with just nearing a 90 second mark. Don't say it ain't good because Norman Powell does flip it off. Kleba finds a pass again to Donkic and now finds Hardaway Jr. And a playing back again to Donkic. Now finds Kleba, six on a shot clock. Donkic for another three. Again he makes it in. Donkic has got 11 points in this game. Now it's a 23-16 score. Oh, the face-off is a struggle. No way to mess them up if they can. Arden over Hardaway Jr. is good. A drive-in puts it now with under one minute. Arden's got eight points, just down to a minute left. Now he finds Lively. Lively the second. He goes up, he makes it in over Plumley. He has his first bucket in the appearance of the playoffs against the Clippers. Now, the other way for Lively the second, after coming with a huge loss, and this was nowhere to be the ordinary of what's happened the year before. I know that is quite a very fantastic game, but sometimes if the Mavericks does it all, they've been really been going over it, and they just won't stop it. It's because they just really uh, keep on practicing, and they say, hey, we don't need practice, we need scrimmage. That's what we all do. They've got to get to work. Exit for three. It's no good. Rebound again. Lively's up. Count the bucket and one. Mason Plumley with his first personal. And I'll be a number team foul. First team foul for the LA Clippers. <laughs> now the new substitutions are coming on the board as D.Y. Powell. And of course right now as Exum and Kleber are checked out. Green is checked in. And finally for the Clippers. All four players are checked out, all four players check in as Coffee, Feist, and Harden moves it over to point guard. He can't hit that one, so he only made two points. And Coffee will have it over. Find again to Harden. Harden on the outside of the swing, five seconds to shoot. Up with the shot, it's good! James Harden with 10 points! Coming back down by 7. And Luka Doncic. Will he take it deep? And hit off 
the rim. No bucket made, and this one is the end of the first quarter. Great start so far, as Dallas leads by seven. Hey, no need to question the fact, they've just got to do it all. We'll take a quick break, and we'll come back after this. We welcome you back here at Crypto.com Arena, and if you're just tuning in for the second period, we've got a next one coming in. Now, if you expected what happens for Luka Doncic and for Paul George, they've been really are crushing it in the right in between of us too. The order of the matchup won't be cutting in for the digit numbers, but they may have it all what they counted. You know, I say that whenever the Clippers definitely made a win, they have been struggling in the fifth seed. But however, I was not really spotting it on because there was a big mistake. Sometimes there was no other way that they could try to answer that one back. That's a powerful way that they can try to like keep it going when they're attacking. Yeah, I know. I see that with so much right now, but in that case, it doesn't really happen to us. They really are starting to go uh, desperate for sure, and under pressure with the siege. Oh, what a throwdown for Darden! And he has five points. Hey, that's what they all do. They love throwdowns. Show some more. And Donkish now finds it again to Green. Green tries to get back over to Donkic, and now Washington's up on the wing. Harden and trying to watch here is Kawhi Leonard. Leave it back to Donkic. Donkic. Up for two. It's good. Donkic with 13 points. Adds that one back up by seven. You know, not the hard feeling when you know for Donkic. That's what he does. He keeps shooting what he did in the gym. Unable to complete the drive as he goes back up and good. That will be his first one for Cafe. Clippers trail by five. Now here's Green. Green gives it over and out find Washington. Washington scoops it back down again to Dunkic. Dunkic trying to get back over to Washington. Step back. Here's Dunkic for number two. He misses again, that goes off the rim as Cafe will have his first rebound. And Harden has it across on Irving, watching him, finds the Feist, and a shot, what a terrific move! Daniel Feist with his first bucket of the night. That's what they all say, Daniel Feist, what do you got? That's what he does, make that one clear. Dunkage finds again to Irving. Irving spins it again to Dunkage. Three for Green. Good range outside as Dunkic puts up another six. That'll be his first three-pointer for Green. Green on the trot. I say that Green just got there in time. Make that one feel all for it. Nice defensive effort here for the Mavericks. Dunkic, he's got his third rebound of the night, trying to give it over, looking more. Helping the screen out, looking for a screen off ball moment. Gives again to Green. Fake the shot. Now finds Washington. Open oh, overhead pass. Here's a shot. Powell can't hit the go on the mark. Buffet now finds Arden. Tries to look in the paint. Loose the ball. Duncan takes it over. Here they come on a two-on-one pass break. And a try puts in for T. White Powell. Kyrie Irving with his first assist. That goes in for number one. At least you know I gotta tell the finish drive doesn't have it all. But let's say that it can be a, like a great satellite score. I say that one is really like a hard you know, thing to know for. Three pointer can't hit the mark. They're shooting like they're everywhere right now. They don't really have enough to go at the moment. They can't pick it off here. The last game happened to be against the Golden State Warriors. They have 108 points. The largest point lead in the game. All you know, I just really have a lot of them to hard go, but they say for On that one, pick off look doesn't really care. I just really don't have anything else to say what they go for. And this is what no one does. They can't leave that one off there. And that harder point, it's a lot dry. Oh, Paul George makes that throwdown. There's a lot of throwdowns this time for the Clippers, but none for the Mavericks. Oh, sure do. I think Paul George really wants that one. Give that one a look. He's Irving in the corner now, finding a little bit more open room now, find Donkic. Here's an hour one for Washington. Paid a shot. Three up again for Donkic. And it's an hour miss by Dallas. Buffet's got a second rebound, and we do have an update for David Aldridge. He's been talking to one of the head coaches from Tyrone Lue. 
on his way at this moment to look for his ability strength. They are just trying to look go from here and they can't get there through. Get ready because the postseason goes on. Oh! What a moment! James Harden just finally had that one slammed. Oh, the crowd wants more. They just really debate to me, guys. They really wanted to, like, give it up. We'll show it how it's done. The beard is going for a drive. Timeout called by Dallas Mavericks with 3.35 left to go in the first half. That period's been a struggle for them, but not for long. The Clippers are trying to add to its payback, and they're just wanting the revenge out there. That's all they care for. Well, not for all you care, because they've been really been pushing through. They just go for push and pee. They just really can't like let them get away with that one. I mean, come on, man. How's the world going to know if you're going to get get to that far? Oh, I would definitely do it if I were you. Uh, don't say it right in front of us, you know? I can uh, let it live on, but hey, let's get on with the back here, guys. I mean, so who's you got? I can't let it stand up through all. Oh, no way, no way. I mean, you just really have to just show what you're capable of. I, mean, I know I know, I can't let them happen, but that's what they always do. Show them what they have it down, and then I mean, you gotta go, go for a little more. Wrap it up here, give it done. Yes, sir. Hey, Don. But it is a division look. As right now, they have a good status. And now in between, as you get to you in a moment, with five substitutional players out of the court, and five of them are checked in. Kyrie Irving moves over to point guard position. Ball sit. Last touch goes to Mason Plumley. And that will be Mavericks ball still coming down toward the line. As right now, Norman Powell is checked back in for Paul George. Law line substitutionals, I mean, keep on going if they can. And now here's Irving. In the corner, finding Exo. He's a three for Hardaway Jr. Tried it, but didn't succeedly get in toward the rim. Well, it's a hard shot, but I mean, this is no line they can't do. They don't let that one get pulled out. But the last game with the left, they played against the Utah Jazz. That happened to be only the regular season that they played here before the playoffs ever began. They would really like, they wanted to pressure it out. And they can't let that one lift flowing in there if they try to stoggle it up. You know, the easier way they do this, this is not what happened, they get through it. And that's what you don't do. You don't try to like leave it out. Every time they play for us, they gotta keep on rolling it again. That's what they all do. And the shot, the layup will make here for Maxi Kleba. And Axis will go to Gapper with the assist. Oh, that's pretty amazing. Great drive. And a great pass here, too. Powell feeling out a little bit. The screen is on is on uh, Yuzubox. Finds Zubox in the middle. And what a drive made. And Norman Powell with the assist. Only had a win against Utah. He only had 15 points to remain on the score. Well, if you ever say about what happens to you, you really have to know Norman Powell, a defending one for the point guard position, keep it alive. Here's Harley Jr. up with the shot, way up. Tries to hold on, he gets it back. Gaffer now finds Hardaway Jr. He now finds it again to Exum. Screen on the ball. Exum on the drive. Pulls it back for Gaffer. And will take the layup in here. And he will have another two-point opportunity range to have it in. He just can't afford it if he really are starting to go over this. They really can't let them leave the mark. And Zubox trying to fight in on Gaffer. And Pumley finally again to Klima. Holds it on. Now find Powell. Exum's cover. Six on the shot clock. Layup drive. It's denied. Over with the shot. Good. As Emiko Zubox has his first sort of rebound, and now he has a second, eight points in the game. Well, you just gotta know that. Emiko Zubox has been training really hard, trying to go with the rebound in, in on the kickoff of the year. Now he just really might have to go with that one with another change. Yeah. Just really say, they really have no idea to get that one back. Hardaway Jr. for the two. It's good! The number one put about Dallas Mavericks as Hardaway Jr. has his second bucket. 
Oh, and you're going to have no slowing down to do the right thing. They can't get that one past from here. And Powell now finds Westbrook. Off an overhead pass to Plumley. Plumley over to back, and an offensive foul has been picked up on Zubox. That'll be his first personal. And first turnover, Gordy Glimmerts. Now to do substitutions for the Mavericks as they are a couple new players are checked in. Hardy's checked in. And right now, as uh, as an already group with substitutional, he'll be ready to take it on. Kleba, not buying lively the, the second. Up with the drive, off the layup in. And that one goes in with the back again to Westbrook. Here's Powell, the drive, no good. Up with two, makes it in. Still a close game this time. It looks like this one's going to have to stop early at this point. Well, as long as you know for it, it's what they don't do, they can't let that one cool out. X down for the buzz beater, and that's off the rim. 42-38 to score. We'll take you back here with the third quarter right after this. All right, let's send you over to David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much, PJ. Hot start offensively. How do you continue that in the second half? I think we did a great job of taking around and kicking out to our teammates and making over shots. So uh, we got back away from that in the second quarter, but we got to do a better job of coming out of that. Stick with what works, right? Thanks for your time, man. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. Well, it's time to get down to halftime show and get ready for the third quarter. See you later in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Luka Doncic had a huge first quarter. He had 13 points, 5 assists, and 4 rebounds. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your take on it? We have to love the second unit. I mean, the effort they display, they're doing much more than giving the starters a break. We're seeing Jalen Simpson from particularly on the offensive end. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? I like the way they rebounded. They devoted a lot of energy down low, fighting for each other on the boards. And they help keep this game tight. If they can continue to do that, it can easily be the factor that swings the game in their favor. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And if you're just tuning in, we welcome you back to LA. As a good game gets called for, a close matchup as we call for Luka Doncic, but James Harden has it all covered to be a beard man, all in one and all. You know, he's like the biggest guy. I mean, just to go with the configure, he's been really on the pressure. I always ever seen him since playing with the Sixers, and his mind is on to the time. You can definitely try to take all of it. Well, as for once for him, I mean, I'm really sure how he could do it right now, but I would like to see what he could definitely try to like handle it if he gets more increase into the game. Let's find out if he does more. <laughs> we'll see. The ball is loose as Irving's got the ball. On a starting in the group inbound, we have his James Harden on a dunk catch. Irving is with here on Ibika Zubox. And Leonard is on BJ Washington. Paul George, he's with on the other side of it. As him on Dre Jr. is on Paul George. And finally, we have his Gafford here on Terrence Mann. He starts it up, and he's fouled. That will be his first foul for the Los Angeles Clippers, as this will be their first personal foul and their first team foul. Well, look at the drive that happened here. When you call him for Gafford, he had that one coming in right now. He just tried to go with the layup and trying to take the finish. All that happened now, I mean, he's trying to get that one in there at the right timing. But that one didn't get there through enough. That one had to be a clear layup than without a block. That could be a hard one to take. Now the foul's been ripped up here for the Los Angeles Clippers as they're at the free throw, as they're at the field trip to the free throw line shooting too. As they've never been picking it up before. He's only had 10 points, 71 percentage of his field goal range. Only it turned out to be a lot of the hard respected that he has done before. You know, the average now, every way because of Daniel Gafford after playing with the Washington Wizards. He's definitely like one of the, uh, the harder maintains of this war. He tries to get that one over, and then his contribution cannot be able to deny that one. 
He's really like all in for everybody. Whatever you tell him for, it's really what not nobody would really like. What appreciation is to him, I mean, what could go with the figure? It may not be the deal with him. You might have to go with all of them in case you can. After the free throw set it in, here comes Mint. Man slides it back. Irving on him. Screen on Zubox. Trying to go over it. Slides it back. E.J. Washington on him. Here's the guard drive and he's fouled. Daniel Gifford will be his first personal and it'll be our first team foul for Dallas. Well, there's a count now. And you know that, that Kawhi Leonard was able to take the drive. That one has to be one of them. It just didn't really help. The only way that he got to go for now is to cut to the ring, get from here. They are making their first attempt to shoot at the free throw line as they make their way to the field trip for the Clippers. Now ready to take two shots for Kawhi Leonard. He hits the first free throw. The Kawhi Leonard, he is one of the biggest. They own to the guy he has ever been accomplishing it for. And he has done for all of them with all of his accomplishing states here in between. You know, Kawhi Leonard is one of the a great man of his play. What do you know about how the distribution comes in here, gentlemen? Well, really say, Kawhi Leonard, I mean, kicking it up out here. I mean, he's been really been going for one of his best careers. I mean, you've got to make that one, brother. I always say that whenever he's played for in Los Angeles, California, he really wants to return. That's what his home state is, to be on the board, though. Yeah, I really can't really tell you about in California, I would have said that it would have been a possible way to let him go with them. Three for Washington. That's missed off the mark as Terrence Mann will have another rebound. It's not shooting a rebound, it's not always they do. They don't let them fight. It's George. Back step for the three. That rolls in and out. Irving's got his second rebound of the night. Now going back over again to Gaffer. Here he comes. The layup puts in for Gaffer. He has an R1. That's 10 points for Daniel. Clippers trail by six. Kawhi Leonard trying to look for another drive. And George up for the two. Good shot range. Beating over Jones Jr. And another one comes in for Kawhi Leonard with the assist. You know that pass over there now? That was like a deep shot. That could have been tricky right now, but that was no more luck. But he finally dug it off. Reporter for David Aldridge, Jason Kidd. He's one of the head coaches here for the Dallas Mavericks that he has ever been doing this before. Without with anyone, he really had to maintain it all. But that pressure won't help him all if he does more what he does. Well, it's quite uh, offensive on the making. You know, Daniel Gafford has been talking to one of his uh, Jason Kidd head coach. He's been playing it before after playing for his NBA career. Now he's here for the next level. He wants to be the coach to get right to the next level. That point is just a hard one to take, but he knows it all. He's got a pretty tight, decent amount of him of what he will do if he gets more done. Donkic on a drive over, over Harden. It's good. Lock good. Luka Donkic with 15 points. And it's Washington with the assists. No, he's at the spare now because Luka Donkic got a good setup target. Harden bounce past the Leonard. Watching him, trying to put the risk here without the foul, and over again, denied by Gafford! Oh, that's a great block shot here for the Mavericks with under five minutes. Oh, I would never like that. But Gafford would take that one with the block. He got to get that out of here and go home. Ivica Zubox checked out as Daniel Feist is checked in. Cafe is on the court ready to take his more as he subs in. With the shot, Harden, the drive, put back in for Bikes. Here's Dalkish, up score by six. Now he finds again to Gapper. Gapper try to roll the back. Now gives it again to Irving. Here's another one for Dalkish on a deep range for three. That one hit the board and that went air ball. Oh, uh, I don't know if it was air ball. If he just hit the board, I mean, that won't count me with the air ball. I know it does happen, but don't let that one get away with that. The rebound puts in for Kyrie Irving. He has number three in a row. 
That's now Gafford has it. Now Irving. Trying to give it over to the screen for Gaffer. Oh, but the cut! The layup! Unable to take one as he gets it back. Gafford's got the ball outside, now finding again to Dunkage. Trying to watch the play in screen. Down to four. They all bounce pass, stolen by Harden. Harden's got his first steal of the night. Trying to give off to Leonard. Leonard with a spin around, and he, there's a pretty second call. That's on Kawhi Leonard as they just will turn over to Dallas ball. With the look of a static for Russell Westbrook. 27.2 was the offensive new record height for 2020-21 season. Well, all average has to be that. But this year wasn't a great day to have to be, like, you have to just re regroup it and do it the best as you can. Because it was not really easy enough to try and, like, leave him alone. I mean, you just got to go with that one with the pit. That's all you can care for. The three for Jones Jr. It's good. Outside range it in. Jones Jr. has got his first three-pointer with 320 to go. Timeout call by LA Clippers with 318 to go. We've got a lot of quick breaks in action here, and this one coming to your way in Los Angeles, California. That's all what happens now. You know Jones Jr. finally dishes in the three. Yeah, I can say now that Dallas Mavericks might be the next one to get back in there. Can't get to lot that far. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by. Starry Lines. State Farm. Call it a free quote at 1 800 State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Sour Patch Kids. Sweet, sour, gone. New group substitution all on the court. As there are a couple players are checked out, and a couple players are checked in. Gaffer, Jones Jr., and Duncan are checked out. As now it's Hardy, Green and Lively, the second checked in. What a great student in for Paul George. Well, not when you always really have to know for Norm Powell. Snows that Paul George can definitely make the finish draw. But a new substitutional, he finds Lively the second. Slides it back now, finds again a Hardy. Three for Green. Another three-pointer goes in for Green. He has six points. Uh, just a believable. When you know what Green can definitely do, try to have that one all when you can. Not for Jalen Green, but just take all your time if you get this one in. Try puts in. As right now is Pafe with that one with another bucket here. As Highland has his first bucket in a range. Now he finds Lively a second. Trying to step in, now finding Irving. Irving spreading it out right on the floor. Three, another three. Good off, and no back call violation on the court. And now here's George on the throw down. They're turning back down by six. PG-13 with another one to take the offense of the game. Well, the process never worth it because Paul George keep on going. Green swings again to Irving. Irving up a number two. That's good. Irving's got five points in the game. Back in the lead goes up to cut the digit to extend the lead for eight. You know, it's not always worth a while because Uncle Drew tried to finish the drive, show him off of what he does. That's going to take a lot of his time. Here's the pass over. Over again, he's fouled. Lively, the second is fouled already. And now the third team foul puts up for Dallas. Nearing the 90 second mark in the third period, the last game was turned to be way close. The D1.2 was the Suns in the first place position. Field goal range looking for Los Angeles to keep on going. Mason Plumley at the free throw line, shooting two for the Clippers as they add another free throw percentage. He missed the perks. With a new substitution all, as two players are checked in, one player will make a new change off as Fies and Highland are checked out. And he 
he makes a second. Dallas up by three, seven. Hardy now give again to Green. Green watching screen. Give again to Lively the second. Hardy now give again to Irving. Irving to, to Green. Six on the shot clock. Deep three for Hardy. And that didn't go for it. And he went out of bounds. Turn it over to LA Ball. Oh, that one's going to be a big off one. I'm sorry, but that's what happens now because Hardy's not shooting well with the three pointers. I don't think they cannot get there in front of it. That's going to be a hard call. They can't let that one go in. Here's Norman Powell trying to step in around Irving over with the move. Good to hear as Lively, the second, will have his second rebound. Now Hardy will have it out. Here's another one. Irving in the corner. The bounce pass. Hardy tries again. And near the logo makes it in. That time he makes a three-pointer. They extend it again. It's now up by 10. Oh, you feel what range now does. Near the logo, no problem. Three-pointer misses again for LA Clippers. That's because you're not shooting at enough that accuracy. That's going to be a lot of hard timing to just try to like go with the make threes. It's impossible to do this. No one's getting a handle of it. They can't let that one slip alone if they haven't the choice to do this. They need to go for it again. Irving up and two the pointer misses again. Now here's George out finding in the foul. Powell moving in the side of the paint to get back to Plumley. Powell, near the free point line, back step or jumper, misses again. And Hardy will close the game, and it's a 61-51 game. That is a close range, and you are just wiping them out. You can't leave them out one behind. One more quarter left to go in Los Angeles, as right now this is up by 10. Will the Clippers answer back, or will the Mavericks strike the first game to win it all? It's all what happens. Keep on tight, scrub, trouble. Keep it short and sweet. Let's take a quick moment to have a look for a State Farm assist of a game. Now, the feeling of it, I was really up to uh, impress at the site. You all say that because of that one pass over gives the power, and that one really does turn to be Irving's idea. That's what happens if you call that one with Uncle Drew pass, and you got it through. Keep on the eye with you, the voice. Keeps on going for Uncle Drew. We've been enjoying it right now for three quarters, but this is the last quarter to remain, as we're glad you're happy with us. Here is last group. Luka Doncic is on Russell Westbrook. Kawhi Leonard on Lively the second. Then across from here is Highland. He's over on, on Hardy. Hardaway Jr. on Harden. And it's Powell on Ivica Zubox. That shot went in for Dwight Powell. He has six points in this game. Trying to leave it off the mark as Tim Hardaway Jr. with another assist. You know, possibilities are endless. But I would never know until Dwight Powell can try to like handle it all with the solution. May not be that choiceful look, but hey, no need to worry. Harden, they got another triple range on the outside. They have made eight more three-pointers than the Clippers done, but Harden wants to go for more. Well, let's see what he does. The most improvable basketball player does have it all. Harden Jr. now find Lively the second with seven minutes. Now gives again to Jones Jr. Tries to go with the back stepper. And number good makes it in. And Jones Jr. has five points. You say what? Jones Jr. really made that one impressive. He's really like keeping a hard heart on a strangle. Not to go long, but hopefully that turn will be okay. Another miss comes in as Powell now have it over again to Hardaway Jr. Here's another one to Lively. And now give to Donkic. Donkic slides it back right now again to Powell. Powell swinging it over again to Donkic. Donkic, the back stepper. Good! Donkic with 17 points. 67 to 54 is the score. You know, that is what happens because the Euroleague mover had to be all for clearing everything. That's what Luka Donkic does. What a try for, Doc, for Russell Westbrook. He makes another one and he finally has his first bucket in. And now here's Donkic. We'll now send it over to Lively the second. 
announcement begins to Harley Jr. now over again to Jones Jr. Jones Jr. trying to go back again to Duncans. He now finds again Harley Jr. wanting to go for more down to five. With a look, Duncans misses the target from here as man will have it. And here comes Westbrook. Pretty up. Good at back and good. James Harden does it again. They are just pulling it back down by another score. That is now 10. I'm sorry, it was down by 9. And now he gives it again to Hardaway Jr. Trying to roll it again. Backstepper now by Duncan. Duncan trying to look for over again to do to make some more room. Down to 6 on the shot clock. Finds Hardaway Jr. Nice D by Harden. Well, Harden maybe that one had a hard time, but I thought that was gonna, almost going to be a foul for that. Instant nullified by Live Lady. Oh, what a blocker stop. Here's Powell, slam it down. That's where you know, T.Y. Powell, you can finish off the arc and show what your response is. Oh, hey, yeah, uh, I know what you're saying now. T.Y. Powell's like, keep it high on it, for sure. Yeah, what is this? Can't leave that one messy over it. Arden for three. Another miss by Los Angeles. Powell's got his second rebound, and as Hardaway Jr. will now have it over to get to Powell. Here he goes again! Oh, nice layup in there, and that's a great pass by Hardaway Jr. He has 10 points in the game. They are rocking it in the first game. Well, all save for now. It's what they usually do. When Powell has to get it done, he gets up on here clearly out of the way. A strong performance team by D.Y. Powell. He has his third rebound of the night. And Donkic will try to do it again. Now, he gets it over again alive in a second. Wants to do this one. Go for like Hardy. He'll have it back. Now over again to Lively. Here's another one for Jones Jr. He gets again. Donkic, up. Oh, great pass here, but that one missed again. Oh, he would have almost had that one with another bucket score. He'll hit 17 of the points. Close call. By Lively. What a great rebound here. That's number two in a row for Lively. Five rebounds in a game, and this one rounds a 3 30 left. That's what they can't just leave that messy, but look, when that block defender, he just has to show response. You're going to mess me up? No way. And number three for Lively, he tries it, but the rebound puts up for Westbrook. On a fast break, trying to look for answers. Ivica Zubox on Powell. Man in the corner on Jones Jr. Screen on Zubox with a cut. Floater, no good. Solid defensive performances for the Dallas Mavericks as we are under three minutes remaining. And Powell, oh yes you can. Powell does it again and has 12 points in the game. Timeout call by Los Angeles Clippers with 2.47 to go. Well, the hard feeling of that fact, it may not be what you're looking for. Sorry, sir, because that might be a changeup that they can't leave at all. As we join in the end for tomorrow night's game, as we are ready to send you off over to the second day of the game, as we have the Bucks taking on against the Miami Heat. That will be happening here at Milwaukee for at Pfizer.org. Then, following along with the next game, as the other side for the Western Conference, we've got the Timberwolves facing against the Suns at Minneapolis, ready to take our own time here after the first game is complete. Then, go back to the Eastern Conference for tonight's game. Tomorrow night's game, we've got the Sixers, and they're battling against another rival team. It's the Boston Celtics at TD Garden. And finally, we have it all for you. The Mile High team of Nuggets face on against the Golden State Warriors in Colorado at Ball Arena. That will be every game tomorrow night, tomorrow in the afternoon, and tomorrow in the evening, only on Sun and Beast. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. They will have tons of more of this video, and then we've got you covered here for reactions and everything, the supercuts, and much more. Now time to present your New Balance player in the game, Luka Doncic. When you know what Luka Doncic is making this all time of his effortless, he makes up with all what he can definitely try to do. Cut for the target, cut for the basket, cut for threes, he makes a great pass on that one. 
It's really hard to say what Luka Doncic is definitely going with. His powerful comes in fruition. Another point for a power play at the moment. Going for the drive and for Doncic will keep on doing again in the playoff bound. Here's Mann. The LA Clippers are trying to struggle in here, looking for another cutback. Screen on Harden. Harden on the D3. Oh, yes, sir. What a three range for Harden. Be like the hero when you need it. And Donkic. Want to get this thing done. Here's Irving. The three for Hart Jones Jr. It's good. Range on side makes it in for Jones. And it's standing now, 76-61. Oh, that powerful can't just slow it down. I mean, what are you shooting? Craziness? Give me a break. Goals in and out. Lively, the second has another win. That's the sixth rebound. we down to two minutes. And now here's Donkic. Double man on him. Now give off again to Jones Jr. He finds another one to Irving. Irving! Step up for two. Yes, he can. Seven points in the game. 78 61 to score. And Jones Jr. with the assist. Off to another win is Harden. Now finds Man. Up and overhead pass to Leonard. Washington on him. On a layup. Good. Boy, Leonard does it again. Here in the 90 second mark, he has Donkic has the ball. 78 63 is the score. Here's Washington. Up with the try. Unable to connect the number two point of range. Harden, let her up, and slam out. After Harden with the assist, it's now 78 to 65. But it's gonna be close range up there. I don't know if they're gonna keep it going. Lively, gets again to Dunkich. Now has it over to get to Jones Jr. Jones Jr. gets it over to Dunkich. Here's another one for the two. The range, no good. Lively has it another rebound. Jones Jr. Step back in the range for three. And an arm missed by Donkic. Oh, he's been shooting okay recently, but it's a great pass for Lucas Donkic, but he can't get the three pointers down. Well, he's been doing it too much anyway. Now I have to take a break with that. The foul's called on Dallas, and Sean Shooter makes a missed foul. Another team foul for Dallas Mavericks with under one minute to go. At the line for your players, Paul George. He knocks down the first. Now with a new replacement for the Dallas Mavericks as Gaffers check in for Lively the second. And he hits the second. Time ticking down in Los Angeles at Crypto.com Arena. We are under 40 seconds to remain in the fourth. Now here's Donkic hit the ball. He will have to slow it things down a bit. Irving on the top key. Trying to look for some step in. Down to five to shoot. Donkic up again. And finally sinks it in. And it's Irving with the assist. Well, it just keeps on coming down because Luka Doncic just keeps on going in. Keep it all and with your target in the range. And George back steps. Tries to give off to Varden on the layup. Wow! That one turned to be crazy flow. And now, with that being said, the clock was ticked down to zero. What a great start for the Dallas Mavericks. They pick up the win, 80 to 69. They were really close to get down to set to 10, but that was all it does turn to be a fair game credits. That's all what they do. They keep on doing it on a stride. That's what they do. Just keep on coming. And now a chance to over to send you to David Aldridge at the court side. Hey Dave. Hey Kevin, thank you. Lucas, some feel this team is exceeding expectations. How do you keep up this rhythm? Yeah, we just gotta keep going like that, you know, 
Uh, don't listen to anybody, just uh, be yourselves, you know, play as a team, and that's our kick. Well, when you're yourself, you look pretty good, man. Congrats on the win. Thanks. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. And that's going to wrap it up, folks. With me, Terry Cruz, along with me, Phone, and OJ. This has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. So long, everyone. All right, Terry, thank you. A wonderful start here for the, the first part of the game. And that one for the final game. This one goes to be the Mavericks on the roll with the 1 0 lead over Los Angeles. Mm hmm, that bad's that mess, we're coming in now. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I, I just always have to say now, I mean, this is what they always do. What the Mavericks gonna do when they come for you? I just see that one. <laughs> Let's have a look at the total statistics 53 for the foil goals for the Dallas Mavericks. And then 40% for the uh, Dallas Mavericks. 88 free throws for Los Angeles Clippers. They only had done fast break points in between both teams. 54 and 14 was the point in paints and second chance points for Los Angeles Clippers. Then it was 34 bench points and 31 assists for Dallas Mavericks. 10 of each offensive rebounds. Got pretty good, all right. But the, the, the 21, 21 defensive rebounds for Los Angeles Clippers. That got really well. Two steals over one for Dallas Mavericks, and it was five blocks for Dallas Mavericks. Then one turnover, seven points out for Dallas Mavericks. Two team fouls was given here for Los Angeles. Then the nine dunks, 17 biggest lead, and time possession was 19.02 for Dallas Mavericks. So that's all that does happen now, because it keeps on going and going. Well, they say... This will never happen to be one of the critical range, and you never know what's going to be happening if you ever play like the Dallas Mavericks team. Now it's time for three-star players of the game. Life ring all you. All right. Thank you so much, Boomer. Time for three stars. The third star I'm going to start things over is right now that Paul George has been making over with 12 points. The three rebound effortless, and he makes up one assist, only with five out of ten field goal range. And he doesn't have a lot of three pointers to take. Only two dunks and 14 performances. On down to number two. As I go over to the other side, the New Balance player again goes to Luka Doncic with 19 points, six rebounds, and five assists. Only had two steals made out in early in range, three pointers, three threes made. And he got 20 of the field goal range, has it all even countered out. And almost 30 performances on the effort. Might be saying what he does, because that can keep on going. And your number one star, all say for now, the beer man. He knows he's calling for, it's James Harden. 24 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, and then it's only 11 out of 16 field goals. Only 2 three-pointers were made. 30 performance effort, and 3 dunks were made. Well, Tom Bird, but ready for game 2 when they come back to play it again. And that's going to wrap it up there, folks. I hope you enjoyed your first day of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. We'll have more matchups coming on your way here for on 2K Sports, only on Sun and Beast. The next matchup that will happen to keep your eyes tomorrow afternoon, that will be the Heat and the Bucks. To follow along with the next game, as we see the Wolves face against the other team, the Suns. And then the tomorrow night's game, Celtics and the Sixers, the rematch of the game. And finally, we have it all of you coming down here for the line. The defending champion, Denver Nuggets, face on against the other team of the Golden State Warriors. We are out of here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow for on 2K Sports. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA 2K24 playoffs on 2K Sports style. This is Boomer and my friend. See you all next time. Bye bye. Goodbye, guys. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.